Hi guys, welcome Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer, and we are up to Pisces for your May Tarot. Let's see what we got going on here for you, Pisces. card you have is the star in reverse so that's sort of like not feeling like your wish has been fulfilled the second card is the seven of wands in reverse you kind of gave up you're not persevering you feel like you put your time in put your effort in and you didn't see things pan out the way you wanted them to so you're kind of done with it the middle card is the six of cups in reverse which is not feeling nostalgia for the past so if somebody from your past recently showed up and they think that they're gonna, you know, sell you the bridge, you're not buying it. It's just not happening. You have the King of Pentacles, which is an Earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And then you have Temperance in reverse. So your patience are done. Your patience are done. You put your time in, you didn't see the wish happened the way you wanted it. You don't feel good about the past. You're not looking back with rose-colored glasses on. So if this earth sign has recently let you down or did something that is just not right, you don't have the patience to deal with it anymore. So let's see what's happening moving forward. Pisces. All right, well, you got the four of pentacles in reverse, which means you're not really feeling financially secure and you're feeling like money might be an issue. But the next card you have is the Nine of Cups, which is a wish. You know, it's like make a wish because it will come true. So here's where things get a little bit funny. So even though you feel like this person let you down and you're not really wanting to deal with them anymore, you get the Four of Wands, which is the engagement card. So it may be that you have to dig your heels into the earth a little bit to get what you want out of this person and then they follow through and you get your wish because here you go with the engagement card. <clears throat> and then the next card that follows is the six, <clears throat> the six of Swords, which could be leaving, but it also could just be a vacation. It could be changing locations. You may be moving somewhere. You may be taking, you know, you might be taking a trip across, crossing one of the oceans. So it's, when that card shows up after the engagement card, it kind of makes me think that you might be going on a honeymoon. So I'm not so sure here what's happening, Pisces. The devil. <laughs> Great. So the devil, it can be a little bit of an addiction. Now, addiction, it doesn't have to be to alcohol or drugs. It could be to a person. It could be to working. It could be to exercising. You could be addicted to anything. But when the devil shows up, generally, there is some kind of either materialism or sexual something there's some kind of demon you know that's showing up here and the three of pentacles so even though you've got this demon showing up <laughs> things are working for you you got the three of pentacles there's a lot of cooperation I don't know what's gone on this month with these readings but they've all been like this it's like stop start move forward two steps back do not pass go do not collect $200 okay Let's take one more card. The Ten of Wands in reverse. So you're finally feeling the burden be lifted. Oh, Pisces, and this is me. I don't like reading for myself. I'll ignore this. Pretend doesn't pertain to me. No, I'm only kidding. So the first card is you didn't get your wish. The second card is you're not persevering. You're not looking back at the past. You've kind of given up hope. The earth sign shows up. You're like, ah, you're not so great. And then the last card is temperance in reverse, which means you don't have any patience for any more of this bullshit. You're like, you know what, I'm done. The summer's here. I'm not dealing with this. You know, this is, we're done. Then you're like, but you know what, I'm a little financially insecure, but you got a wish here. And then all of a sudden you're getting engaged. <laughs> it doesn't have to necessarily be that you're getting engaged. It could just, it can also represent that the relationship moves forward. So if you were just casually seeing somebody, the relationship could become more serious. And then there's the Six of Swords where you're like, I'm out of here. 
you could be going on your honeymoon or you could be traveling across water of course it could be that you are leaving because you've had enough and you're like I'm, I'm, at, I'm blowing this taco stand but I don't think that's it that that's just me being sarcastic and then the devil shows up which is some kind of an addiction or some kind of hedonistic something it's either too much alcohol or too much sex or too much shopping but it's generally something that feels really good but in the long term isn't the three of pentacles is cooperation so things are working even though you've got your demons here things are working for you and the burden seems to be lifted so I'm thinking that by the end of the month you'll be feeling a lot m much better than you do at the beginning of the month. I think at the beginning of the month is where you're feeling most of your frustration, but as time goes on, it's gonna to start to dissipate. All right, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye.